Am I audible, Prasangla? Am I audible? Good evening. Am I audible? Can someone please confirm me? You know, I'm not a screen. Yes, okay, I'm audible. Okay, okay, great, great. Just a second, just a second. Okay, okay. Yes. A very, very good evening, Pasangla. This is your master teacher, Niveta, making bio learning very, very simplified just for all of you guys. So, you guys already title the title. We will see the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. One shot, one shot, we will the entire chapter. Ma'am, in the chapter, you will marks the chapter. It will be from around 7 to 8 marks. In the chapter, you will have questions varalam pasangla in your CBSE board exam. Okay? So, now you have to ask the difficulty irkona, remembering the examples. Okay? So, that's why I will help you. So, in the topics, Okay, and we are going to concentrate on what is very, very important in the topic. Lend the Varsha or Shonaria questions, K Kranga, other than Nick Nama session La Paka Poram Pasangla. Other Kumunadi, we have IV SAT instant Vedantu scholarship admission test. I think Vedantu centers are live now. Chennai, Kambatur, Tirchi, and Madurai, Yella Adathime Nama centers live IG with all your. Support okay, so if you have instant our exam, the scholarship, you can join our Vedantu flagship offline courses. So, you can join Panlana 8th and the 12th Pasanga for foundation, NEET, and JE classes. Kaga join Panala okay, and you have 100 plus crore scholarship pool that's going to uh, happen. Okay, register yourself, the link is given in the description below. And in your peria highlight, you can take this test both online and offline. Okay, so offline. Or added advantage, you get two times scholarship okay when compared to that of your online. So if you are living in Tiruchi, Coimbatore, Chennai, and Madurai or nearby places, Kandipa Poi in the test. It is you you will never ever regret. Okay, Veda, that is Vedantu's promise for all of you guys. Okay. You will also voice rumbo lowa kekada. Is my voice very low? Is my voice very low? Please do confirm. Quick ka and confirmation kudunga. Okay. Other tower, you have exclusive free one-to-one -one counseling session with your experts. Okay. So they are going to guide you. Ninga JE Elduvingla, NEET Elduvingla, A to Z guidance full away free ya kadekyom pasangla. Okay. Book your slots now and registration link is given in the description below. Yes. Please do confirm me if my voice is clear and audible. Yes. This is for 12th. Okay. 12th sexual reproduction and flowering plants. Ippo LR kumay clear I know. This is not for 10th standard. 12th standard la first chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plants. And the chapter da in neki nama panna poro. Confusion e teva illa. Okay. And idhil e nama 10th portion si yung cover panna la poro. Okay. We are going to cover your 10th portion. So 10th la enna narka and the basics so idhila cover panna poro. My voice is very low. Okay. Okay. One second. Oray or nimshum. Ippo okay la, Ippo okay la, my voice. Is my voice clear now? Tolanga pasang la? Okay. So, session kula pora dik manadi? No ma'am. It's alright. Okay, okay, fine. So, I know voice inno lowa arnishna, please do tell me, okay? I will be a little more louder. Ma'am, please attach solution for PYQ class 12. There is no solution. Definitely, definitely. Okay. My voice is clear. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. So, before I get into the session, I want everyone to like, share, subscribe to Vedantu Master Tamil. In a session, we will be able So, in a session, we will be able to do it. Okay. Now, I think it is fine. Right? One minute. Show filters on. I can pass it. Yes. Filter is there. This is class 12. Class 12, but class 10 na kana topic ko na may la padi kapo. Okay? Or revision mari niya paat kla. Yes. So ungal kena la arko niya la gauni kla. Or else you can you can watch it from the other videos. Okay? Class 10 pasangal ko. Yes. Everything is fine. We will start. We will not waste a single minute. Okay? So we are going to do male and female reproductive system. Okay? Next microsporogenesis, megasporogenesis. Structure of pollen grain, structure of embryo sac, double fertilization and development. This is very important from where they are asking questions. Hi everyone. Okay. Microsporogenesis, 
megasporogenesis okay structure of pollen grain embryo sac double fertilization idil endra nariya questions kekranga and you also have the most important thing that is pollination okay autogamy genogamy xenogamy adula kuda nariya questions kekranga pasangala we will get into the session so first we have flower so what is flower flower is a reproductive part of the flower the reproductive flower part of the plant right so flowers are aesthetic values correct aesthetic value na enna flower paathone nama mind e or mari relax aayiru correct ah so they are reproductive organ for the plant and they have ornamental okay spiritual connection with many of us okay so flower flower mukkiyama naal hole irukku please give test series for class 12 kandipa kandipa kuduthiralam okay i think it's already there test series irukku class 12 test series is already happening you can check it out okay okay சொல்லுங்க பசங்களா what are the four different walls of a flower flower ல வந்து நாலு ஹோல் இருக்கு ஒன்னு வந்து கேலிக்ஸ் இன்னொன்னு வந்து கொரோலா அண்ட்ரீஷியம் அண்ட் கைனீஷியம் ஓகே these are the four important walls கேலிக்ஸ் corolla andrisium and gynesium and why are these so special they are so special because they are modified for the purpose of reproduction okay yes what is budding your budding that is a kind of asexual reproduction ellame solli thara ellame solli thara wait pannunga okay so first let's talk about calyx and corolla pasangala okay calyx and corolla okay calyx ku innor per irukku adoda per sepals okay corolla ku innor per irukku adu per petals okay these two are called accessory walls okay தெரியுதா <laughs> in the bud stage okay so it's got a function in that they protect the flower in the bud stage okay purunjuda pasangala calyx sort of function they are leaf like structure okay corolla corolla are colored okay they are colored they are of different shape different size okay what is the function of corolla or petals anyone yara solla mudiyuma petals sort of function in that what could be the function of petals why are petals brightly colored any idea because they attract romba mukhyamana vishayam insects for pollination okay that's very very important pasangala yes they attract the pollinating agent super see flowers la pasangala in the calyx to corolla wo fused are come okay the calyx and corolla will be fused ninga class 11 liye padichirpinga adha nama enna nu solrom tepals nu solrom okay illa perianth nu solrom okay when the calyx and corolla are fused we call it as tepals or perianth okay idhu dhaan pasangala unga accessory walls oda idea okay ipo essential walls ku pola so essential walls la modala nama paaka vendiyadhu antrisium okay antrisium endradhu male reproductive part enna solra adha male reproductive part nu solrom it consists of stamens okay antrisium is made up of what pasangala stem okay so stamen is called as a male reproductive organ a group of stamen avandu nama antrisium nu solvom which determines the opening of calyx after the bud stage once the flower matures okay when the once the flower decides it has to bloom that is going to basically cause the uh, opening of the calyx yes please do tell what your doubt is okay ipo in the stem la enna irukka pasangala it has a bilobed structure called anther and it has a filament okay idena pasangala anther okay and this is the filament idoda detail ana structure inna konja nerathla paakalam adha da avanga antrisium okay so that is a third wall outermost is calyx okay next corolla adukulla antrisium adukulla irukiradhu vandu gynesium okay so gynesium oda innor per enna can anyone tell me what is gynesium otherwise called gynesium is otherwise called carpels okay gynesium is made up of 
கார்பல் ஓகே ஒரு கார்பல்ல என்ன இருக்கும்னா யூ வில் ஹாவ் அ ஸ்டிக்மா யூ வில் ஹாவ் அ ஸ்டை அண்ட் யூ வில் ஹாவ் அ ஓவரி ஓகே என்ன இருக்கும் பசங்களா stigma that is a landing surface then you have your sty then you have your ovary okay and this ovary is placed on a flat surface that flat surface is called thalamus pasangla adu enna nu solro thalamus maybe 1 to 1 and 1/2 hour maximum i'll try to finish as early as possible corolla flower is to aid reproduction by attracting Uh, pollinators correct correct raguram very good very good okay so it is attached the ovary is placed on a or a stage and the stage per in the thalamus okay ovary ku la enna irukku ovules irukku adha pathi nam inno detail la paakalam okay so gynoecium is the innermost wall okay then your calyx is your outermost wall it is a flowers okay both your andrecium and gynoecium together we call it as reproductive walls hi hi micropyle na na ellathukume answer solren wait pannunga okay i'll definitely answer yes so idu dhaan pasangala ungala andrecium structure the andrecium consist of a wall layer of stamens okay it consist of filament and anther idu dhaan real picture adu appadi dhaan irukum okay let's try to understand what is this anther the angiosperm anther is bilobed adu or bilobed ana structure with each having two theca pollens are yellow in color their color differs okay but usually lightly colored okay inga enna solranga na indha mari or bilobed ana structure nu solranga nammoda anther okay adhanaala da adha dithecus nu solrom a longitudinal group run lengthwise separating the theca ipdi or group odu okay each you have two theca like this now each theca is having two bag like structures okay you can see the nam enna solro pollen sacs nu solro okay so one bilobed structure la rendu pollen sacs irukku yes dithecus romba romba mukkiyamana word dithecus carpel and pistil are also called as no carpel and pistil they are not called vegetative parts they are your reproductive parts carpel and pistil are the same yes yes carpel and pistil ore vishayam da okay idha da nama stamen nu solrom pasangala anther um filament um sendha da stamen okay so this is your ncrt picture you can see how there are pollen grains that develop inside the pollen sac okay yes so what is this anther composed of pasangala in the anther vandu romba protective ana structure it has an anther wall inner to the anther wall you have microsporangium and the pollen sac nu sonna la and the pollen sac a microsporangium nu solvanga is that is the most essential anther producing pollen grain or male gamete yes absolutely correct absolutely correct solunga unga doubt enna nu solunga jamuna correct raguram correct yes ha ah, in the வால்ன்றது சாதாரண வால் கிடையாது பசங்களா இட் ஹஸ் மல்டிபிள் லேயர்ஸ் ஓகே இட் ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் வித் எபிடர்மிஸ் அவுட்டர் எபிடர்மிஸ் ஓகே தென் யூ ஹேவ் எண்டோதீசியம் மிடில் லேயர் அண்ட் டாபெட்டம் ஓகே இது ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் தே கேன் ஆஸ்க் யூ அஸ் அன் எம்சிक्यू ஓகே இது எப்படி மேம் ஞாபகம் வச்சிருக்கிறது e square mt ஞாபகம் வச்சிருக்கலாமா first e stands for epidermis epome plant la outermost layer is epidermis inna to that you have endothecium then you have middle layer tapetum okay in the moon layer tell me what's your doubt ma'am anther and filament are called stamen yes absolutely correct yes hi hi ha illa romba mukkiyamana vishayam enna na pasangala idu moon me they are going to protect okay protect my anther whereas my tapetum provides nourishment okay in the oru oru word romba romba mukkiyo i have the picture i will show you the picture okay so they are going to help in protection and they are going to help in nourishment okay so picture paakalama we'll directly get into the picture so you can see the outermost epidermis okay ore or single layer of epidermis single layer of endothecium in the middle layer ena adu oru layer kedaiyadhu adha multiple layers irukke hi everyone hi is it very low is it still low microsporangium na enna kandipa solra wait pannunga okay so idhu vande ungaloda tapetum okay tapetum irukke indha bag marina structure irukla pasangala adhu da ungaloda microsporangium okay 
my voice is low or the brightness is low can you please confirm my voice is still low okay fine others ah inda irukka or bag marina structure irukla pasangala and the four bag marina structure da nama microsporangium nu solrom my voice is too low okay okay fine i think i need to change the battery okay yes i think i need to change the battery fps also low okay yes yes tapetum also produces voices okay it's in good voice some is telling good some is telling bad okay just a minute i'll check for myself okay naane or air vaati check panirra okay no ma'am fine everything is fine tell them to refresh please refresh once or vaati refresh panni paarenga inno problem irundhuchuna i will do it definitely i'll do it na poi i'll get the battery and i'll change the thing okay tapetum is the inner most protective layer okay that is going to provide nourishment adha da tapetum oda definition and function okay yes ma'am if i remove the stamen from a bisexual plant and remove pistil nothing will happen if you remove pale pistil and if you remove stamen do you think reproduction will happen no okay okay pasangala shall we continue this is the structure epidermis endothecium middle layer tapetum enoda tapetum fulla irukiradhu da enoda microsporangium enoda microsporangium la enna irukku na i have microspore mother cells okay enna irukku microspore mother cells irukku enoda microsporangium la okay yes what is this pasangala idu nariya perku or confuse ana vishayam what is dehiscence after dehiscence na enna microspore mother cell yes correct what is what do you understand by answer dehiscence anybody anybody can anyone tell me answer dehiscence na enna na yes tapetum also produce ubis body and callase enzyme and pollen bit too yes correct da but i'm sticking on to cbsc board so we will stick on to that kumar yes answer dehydrate superb eppo and or answer dehydrate aavum it is dehydration dehydration of anther absolutely correct why the anther has to get dehydrated to release pollen grain okay adha da whole point to release the pollen grain the anther gets dehydrated pasangala yes after maturing very good very good okay dehiscence means once the pollen grain develop okay they are going to mature and what will happen the anther undergoes dehydration and there will be release of pollen grain from the anther and the process da nama dehiscence nu solrom ma'am anther contains what this is what your answer is it is a bilobed structure it has four microsporangium in which the pollen grains will develop adu or male reproductive organ okay yes definitely i will explain wait for me no 20 30 minutes la adha pannalam okay yes now microsporogenesis what is the function of e square mt e square mt enna sonnaradhu e is epidermis okay another e is endothecium m is middle layer idu moonu enna pannona it is going to protect my anther idu moonu kenna function protection okay protection whereas my tapetum is going to help in nourishment adhenu help panna podu nourishment ku help pannom remember clear okay protection ma'am class 10 or 12th i am 10th this is class 12 kana portion maybe there are some things which are overlapping you can just understand class 10 na irundhalo kandipa purinjikalam okay enna pasanga microsporogenesis na enna kekalam what is microsporogenesis it is nothing but development of pollen grain enna ma pollen grain na enna ma it is a male gamete okay so obviously remember always always in the process of gametogenesis meiosis is involved the meiosis is the primary primary kind of cell division because gametes needs to be haploid amavalia 
so haploid gametes produce pannanona what needs to be there meiosis needs to be there okay yes male gametophyte or gamete rendu me correct da okay yes purinjada ellarkume inna nadakka pasangala in the microsporangium la okay you will have microspore mother cell okay mmc n solli or cell irukum okay this microspore mother cell undergoes meiosis so meiosis la meiosis 1 nu nadakum meiosis 2 nadakum correct ah so by the end of meiosis you will have four cells that is developed okay that is called as microspore tetrad okay enna nadakkudha pasangala microspore tetrad form agudhu ye adha tetrad nu solrona by the end of meiosis you will have four cells that is produced meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 nadandonne okay now these each microspore tetrad undergoes mitosis naavu vechukonga okay idhu varaikkum meiosis the microspore tetrad la iruka oru oru microspore me they undergo a mitotic division to produce pollen grain absolutely correct okay in the pollen grain endradu oru cell kedaiyadu pasangala adunala da adu vandu gametophyte nu solrom adhe mari we call it as female gametophyte okay why because these pollen grain or your embryo sac they consist of more than one cell okay so this pollen grain consist of two cells pasangala one vand vegetative cell innon vand generative cell glycogen is a storage polysaccharide main difference between mitosis and meiosis mitosis is an equational division it happens in somatic cell meiosis is a uh, reductional division it happens in reproductive cells hi jsb hi correct it is absolutely correct vinod romba romba correct ah sonninga okay ipo nama pollen grain oda structure paakalam pasunga okay so pollen grain enna nadu it is a male gametophyte okay ye yeah, id gametophyte nu solrona because it has two cells one is your vegetative cell other one is your generative cell okay idha na sollunga pasangala vegetative cell perusa generative cell perusa yaarukala naavuga irukku nu paakalam how many of you know things about pollen grain hi hi everyone hello yaarala hi solringlo sadhana hi jeffy hi yes Vegetative cell is bigger, superb. Vegetative cell is bigger, superb. Vegetative cell is bigger, superb. This is how your microsporogenesis happens. I told you that the microspore tetrad undergoes mitosis. In you can see the microspore tetrad is undergoing mitosis. But why is it like mitosis? It is having an asymmetric spindle. So what will happen? One cell is bigger, another cell is bigger, and it produces. இந்த பெருசா இருக்க செல் பேரு வெஜிடேட்டிவ் செல் இந்த சின்னதா இருக்க செல் பேரு ஜெனரேட்டிவ் செல் ஓகே சோ கண்டிப்பா அது வந்து இதுல டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ல கொடுத்திருப்பாங்க யூ கேன் கோ அண்ட் செக் இட் அவுட் இன் லைஃப் ஸ்கெட்யூல் ஓகே புரிஞ்சதா பசங்களா can we continue can we continue with pollen grain ah in the pollen grain la nariya special ana vishayam irukku can anyone tell me what is so special about pollen grain i have an another picture இது ரொம்ப முக்கியம் பசங்களா திஸ் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் என்சிக்யூ கொஸ்டின் ஓகே இன் ஓவர் சிக்ஸ்டி பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் தியர் என்ஜிஓ ஸ்பர்ம் pollen grains are shed at two cell stage okay rendu cell stage la vandu shed panna padudhu 60% angiosperm la okay micha 40% angiosperm la enna aguduna in the generative cell irukla the generative cell divides into male gametes and it is shed at three cell stage okay so that's very very important the vegetative cell is bigger it has abundant reserve and a large irregularly shaped nucleus yeah and the vegetative cell avlo mukkiyona it is going to provide the nourishment okay it is going to take care of the generative cell yes the generative cell is small and floats in the cytoplasm of the vegetative cell it is spindle shaped with dense cytoplasm and a nucleus okay pollen grain kandipa or five mark question ku kekalam it is a potential question that can be asked okay we shall continue now yes idu dhaan pasanga or vegetative cell or a generative cell so 60% stage la how are they shed they are shed as generative cell and vegetative cell micha 40% angiosperm la vegetative cell appadi irukum in the generative cell further undergoes mitosis to produce 
two male gametes purida two cell stage and three cell stage okay clear difference between microsporangium and sporogenous tissue microsporangium endradu or bag okay sporogenous tissue endradu and the bag ku la irukka or tissue is it clear vidya sagar i am teaching for class 12 confusion e venda na class 12 kaga solli kuduthit iruken okay yes this is not for 10 this is for class 12 okay see this person class this is very interesting idu da avangaloda entire uh, sporangium oda structure it has a fibrous layer adha epithelium endothelium middle layer then you have tapetum okay then you have your pollen mother cell or your microspore mother cell okay now these undergo meiosis later which undergo mitosis to produce pollen so idha da nama microsporogenesis nu solrom pasangala romba romba mukkiyamana vishayam yes what is this pollen grain contain adoda wall can anyone tell me what is the wall of the pollen grain made up of anybody wall of the pollen grain yes it is made up of two parts one is your intine other one is your exine enna na irukku pasangala intine irukku exine irukku sporopollenin enga irukku tapetum oda use nourishment nariya vaati solita it helps in nourishment of the developing pollen grain okay yes so inga paarenga intine ku exine ku enna difference na exine endradhu please don't spam here this is a highly educational sub, uh, channel okay i don't want anything yes okay solunga pasangala intine na enna exine na enna exine endradhu or outer layer okay so here you can see we have discussed everything here okay the hard outer layer is exine and this exine is made up of a special substance called sporopollenin pasangala enna irukke exine la sporopollenin irukku ma'am for this topic how the question will come how they will give they will give you the structure they will ask you what is so special about pollen grain how is pollen grain preserved for many years adu andha maari na question kekla explain pannite na question kekra okay yes yeah what is this the central cytoplasmic part is a source of nuclei responsible the other part constituting the wall of the grain are an inner layer the intine and an outer layer exine absolutely correct absolutely correct okay yes so in the sporopollenin rade enna na it is a most resistant organic material known namalku therinjadiliye or romba resistant ana material na adu vandu sporopollenin it can withstand high temperature and strong acid and alkali inniki varaikyo they have not found an enzyme which can basically digest this sporopollenin and alavuk or strong ana substance sporopollenin okay it is a highly highly resistant okay yes no enzyme that degrades sporopollenin is so far known for pollen grain exine has a prominent aperture so anga anga okay so imagine this is your exine okay so in exine here and there you will have a small aperture like structure opening like structure that is called germ pores where sporopollenin is absent that is what is going to help in the formation of pollen tube ninga kekla ma'am in the germ aperture oda function enna nu it is going to later on help in the formation of pollen tube pasangala hi hi everyone okay adukku vandu romba use aagu pollen grains are preserved as fossil because of the presence of sporopollenin in the question yaro kettingala eppadi ma'am questions kepaanga eppadi pollen grains ah namalala preserve panna mudiyudhu because they have a highly resistant substance called sporopollenin that is going to help in of uh, preserving it as a fossil ipo varaikume namalku nariya fossils kedachirukku okay of pollen grains of those plant which are already extinct okay yes kandipa irukku kandipa we will plant yes nariya per correct ah solittirukinga intine contain cellulose and pectin exine contain your what is it sporopollenin okay the exine vandu nariya designs exhibit panna pasangala ella pollen grains um ore mari irukada i have a picture i'll show it to you the inner wall of the pollen grain is called the intine it is a thin and a continuous layer they can ask you differentiate between exine and intine okay that can be a question the cytoplasm uh, and they are made up of cellulose and pectin 
the cytoplasm is surrounded by a plasma membrane obviously ellathiyume irukka mari da when the pollen grain mature it contains two cell one is vegetative other one is generative vegetative cell is bigger it has high food reserve and large irregularly shaped nucleus in the oru oru word romba romba mukkiyam pasangala okay yes whereas the generative cell is small okay in the cytoplasm of the vegetative cell it is spindle shaped with dense cytoplasm this also we already discussed in over 60% of the angiosperm pollen grains are shed at two cell stage in another 40% they are shed at three cell stage okay i already told you the generative cell divides mitotically to give rise to two male gametes yes in time contains cellulose and pectin yes this is class 12 topic only pasangala இது ஃபுல்லாவே நான் கிளாஸ் டுவெல் தான் எடுத்துட்டு இருக்கேன் எஸ் அப்போ மிக்சஸ் ரிக்வயர் ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் அண்ட் பாலினேஷன் இட் ரிக்வயர் இட் நோ இட் இட் சம்திங் தட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் வித்வுட் ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் கரெக்ட் ஓகே we will continue now these are the pollen grains பசங்கள they exhibit different different shapes okay then ah then why are you asking okay பாருங்க பசங்களா இப்ப வந்து இந்த போலன் கிரெயின் வந்து ஒரு ஹெல்தியான நியூட்ரியன்ட்னு சொல்றாங்க as i already told you it has nourishing nutrients it is used as supplements okay it is used as supplements man does sporopollenin protect pollen grain from external factors yes high temperature okay acid attack alkali attack enzyme attack it is going to protect so this is taken by many people abroad la nariya per idu eduthukranga okay especially athletes sports people they take all this pollen tablets it's quite expensive but it is very very nutritive okay now let's continue that is about your entire microsporogenesis okay ipo nama gynoecium ku la polam okay the gynoecium is the innermost wall of a flower it consists of pistil and is typically surrounded by stamen nam already padichiradha correct ah so you will have your gynoecium and the gynoecium will be surrounded by stamens which is nothing but your androecium okay so nariya per confusion irukko what is uh, pistil what is carpel idella enna pasangala pistil na enna carpel na enna neengale solunga சொல்லுங்க பசங்களா பிஸ்டில்னா என்ன கார்பல்னா என்ன எனி எனி டவுட் எனி ஐடியா பிஸ்டில்க்கும் கார்பல்க்கும் என்ன வித்தியாசம் ஓகே what is this pistil made up of stigma style and ovary in the ovary ku la da ovules irukum in the ovule ku la da enoda female gametophyte irukum that is my embryo sac okay புரிஞ்சதா பசங்களா நான் என்ன சொல்ல வரேன் பிஸ்டிலும் கார்பலும் ஒரே விஷயம் தான் பிஸ்டில் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கால்ட் அஸ் கார்பல் ஓகே புரிஞ்சுதா சோ பேஸ்ட் ஆன் பிஸ்டில் தே கேர் தேர் கிளாசிஃபைட் அஸ் மோனோ கார்பலரி அண்ட் மல்டி கார்பலரி ஹியர் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் ஸ்டார்டிங் ஓகே சோ மோனோ கார்பலரினா தே கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் சிங்கிள் கார்பல் ஆர் சிங்கிள் பிஸ்டில் okay inga na they contain more than one pistil yes carpel act as a female part of a flower and helps in reproduction pistil act but does not produce seed a very good very good difference romba romba correct romba clear ana difference but paakumbodhu carpel and pistil ore vishayam da yes carpel is involved in the production of seed okay whereas my pistil is not involved yeah it's a female reproductive organ yes correct okay inga paanga pasangala multi carpelary na they contain more than one carpel okay there are two different types okay one is single carpel and apocarpus single na enna they are fused okay apocarpus na they are free okay when the carpels are fused we call it as single carpel when the carpels are free we call it as apocarpus example papaver for single carpel okay apocarpus michelia or michelia ninga eppadi pronounce pandreengalo appo okay so i have pictures ncrt pictures okay idu da pasangala thalamus na sonna illa it is a stage on which your ovary is placed okay so you have your stigma you have your style and ovary and this is your sink carpus ovary where the carpels are fused okay and here you have the apocarpus ovary where the carpels are free what is this this is a structure of ovule pasangla okay structure of ovule is a very very important question yes papaver is a kind of plant okay inga paanga pasangla illa enna irukke ullana 
embryo sac irukku let go from inside to outside okay so the innermost part is your embryo sac okay so this is embryo sac it is the female gametophyte enna idu female gametophyte adha pathina structure apram padikalam now this embryo sac is surrounded by new cells enna pasangala new cells la enna what is their function can anyone tell me what is new cells there are multiple layers of cells pasangala they provide nourishment new cells oda function enna nourishment okay now this new cell is, is surrounded by integuments okay so you have outer integument inner integument ma'am integuments oda function enna ma'am they help in protection okay so rend end irukku pasangala or ovule ku one vand micropylar end innor vand chalazal end yes one is micro yes kandipa teach pandren yes yeah okay you have your micropylar end and chalazal end so the micropylar end en ye ma'am solranga ena anga or kutti or opening irukku pasangala okay and there you have funicle and then you have your hilum okay what is funicle what is hilum sollunga pasangala funicle na enna what is hilum okay you have something called as placenta okay placenta is the part through which your ovule is attached to the ovary idu da unga ovarian wall nu vechukonga okay imagine this is your ovule there is some connection between these two that connection is called placenta and the connection enna nu solrom placenta nu solrom okay and the placenta edhuk attach aayirukna enoda funicle ku attach aayirukku clear okay in which part does the pollen grain enter micropylar micropylar the pistil of a flower is divided is the female reproductive structure it is divided into structures such as sigma style and ovary absolutely correct yes the region where the funicle and the ovary are fused is called hilum yes purinjala pasangala this is your anatropous ovule so the base panni diagram based question kekalam okay they can ask you to label and write the function okay we'll move on ovarian cavity na already sonna mari Inside the ovary is the ovarian cavity. That is the locule. One of the ovary is the cavity. And the cavity is the locule. Okay. Next. Depending on the number of locule in the ovary, fruits can be classified as unilocular, bilocular, trilocular, multilocular. Okay. You take this uh, uh, lemon. Lemon is multilocular. That is the multiple locules. Okay. Okay. Purunjada. Purunjada. All of you. that is what we call it as locules pasangala ipo in the ovary kulla enoda ovule irukku enoda ovule da megasporangium naabu vechukonga okay so remember it like this i have my ovary inside my ovary i have my ovule okay the ovule is called the megasporangium ipdi naabu vechukonga okay now the megasporangium kulla irukirad da your embryo sac that is your female gametophyte yes okay you have your embryo sac okay the number of ovules in an ovary may be one like your wheat paddy and mango to many like in papaya watermelon dorchids yes a small compartment ma'am locules na enna ma'am adhu or chinna compartment enoda ovary ku la nariya kutti kutti compartments irukum okay that compartment is called locules okay sila ovary la ore or compartment irukum adha vandu unilocular endro sila ovaries la multiple compartments irukum adha vandu multilocular nu solrom okay yes a scar or a mark left on a seed coat by a farmer attached to the ovary wall or to the funicle is called hilum good okay we'll continue ipo megasporangium that is my ovule okay ovule la patti clear ana information paakala ovule is a small structure attached to the placenta by means of a stalk called funicle the body of the ovule fuses with the funicle in the region called hilum nam already discussed pannu each ovule has protective envelopes called integuments integuments encircle the new cells except at the tip where a opening called micropyle is organized okay opposite the micropylar end adha vandu chalazal end nu solrom enclosed within the integument is a mass of cell 
called mucellus located in the mucellus is the embryo sac or female gametophyte okay what you want me to repeat madhumita i will repeat okay structure eduthukonga idu dhaan na explain panna okay filum irukku adukapra funicle irukku or end la you will not have this funicle that is what we call micropyle okay adha vandha micropyle ar pole nu solrom opposite la irukra chelazel nu solrom okay inner to the micropyle you have basically integuments which are going to help in protection then you have mucellus inner to the mucellus you have your embryo sac which is your female gametophyte in the embryo sac la romba romba mukkiyamaana vishayam okay it is for 12 standard okay the class is for 12 yeah this is the entire structure of your ovule okay ovule oda structure is inner vati clear ah paathukradhukaga inga vechirukku yes now this is how it looks embryo sac development padikka porom megasporogenesis nu solluvo adha enna nu solrom pasangala mega sporogenesis nu solrom okay where does this megasporogenesis takes place it takes place in the ovule okay in the megasporangium so you have something called as the megaspore mother cell enna cell irukku pasangala megaspore mother cell in the megaspore mother cell eppadi patta division undergo pannom it undergoes meiosis the meiosis undergo panna it is going to form megaspore tetrad i think all of you are getting it okay megaspore tetrad la naal cell form aagum okay you will have four cells that are formed in the naal cell la moonu cells degenerate aayirum okay they get degenerated only this one cell develops into embryo sac romba romba mukhyamaana question megasporogenesis okay yes please wait i'm doing self pollination please please wait okay no it will not be tough don't don't think about easy tough and all ipo ipo nama full fledged ah exam prepare pannu okay nishita please wait i'll come to your question i will come to your question okay ipo idu pesit iruka idu mudichittu our next adha da we'll do that idu da pasangala na solla micropylar end la iruka or megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis okay to form megaspore tetra in the four tetra la four cells la three cells degenerate aayirum one cell will develop into embryo sac adu da highlighting okay that's the most important thing and that's the difference okay one of the megaspore is functional while the other three degenerate only the functional megaspore develops into the female gametophyte or embryo sac this is your female gametophyte we'll discuss okay eppadi the female gametophyte produce agudhu how is it produced sollunga pasangala how is this female gametophyte produced what is the process involved eppadi patta division nadakkudhu sollunga i will wait yes video is not clear just a minute yes i think now it is better okay i will only explain no problem so enna nadakkudna pasangala in the one cell irukka megaspore irukla in the megaspore tetrad la one cell irukla this cell undergoes only nuclear division okay yes megasporogenesis takes place in ovule adha da nam ipo padichittirukom okay so in the megaspore will undergo only nuclear division no cytoplasmic division adha da romba romba mukkiyam only nuclear division no cell wall formation kuda eduthukalam okay no cell wall formation so enna nadakkudha pasangala rendu cell naal cell aagudhu naal cell ettu cell aagudhu 
okay so what is happening after eight cell stage or eight nucleate stage okay we appala though i know the concept and the cell ku nucleus ko adu pesam bodu confuse aayidhu okay i'll be very careful so two nucleate becomes four nucleate four nucleate becomes eight nucleate after eight nucleate stage you will have the cell wall formation enna nadakkudhu pasangala eight nucleate aana pro cell wall vandu form aagudhu ரொம்ப கிளியரா புரிஞ்சுக்கோங்க இது ஒரு வாட்டியா இது ரெண்டாவது வாட்டியா இது மூணாவது வாட்டி இது நாலாவது வாட்டி டோட்டலா நாலு வாட்டி மைட்டோசிஸ் நடக்குது ஓகே ஆப்டர் தட் யூ வில் ஹாவ் தார்மேஷன் ஆஃப் செல் ஓகே செல் ஃபார்ம் ஆகி தேர் ஆர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் செல்ஸ் விச் ஆர் ஃபார்ம் so what are the different kinds of cells which are formed that is very very important or a chelazel end irukku or micropylar end irukku okay so chelazel end la moon antipodals irukku ethana antipodals irukku pasangala moon antipodals irukku okay then you have a central periacel large cell okay that central cell contain polar nuclei polar nuclei na enna pasangala it has n plus n so this is a diploid cell only my central cell is diploid antipodals are haploid da because they have underwent meiosis okay then you have a egg okay the egg cell is also haploid then here in the micropylar end i have synergids okay in the synergids i have filiform apparatus okay enna irukku filiform apparatus irukku yes maybe another uh, half an hour to 45 minutes i will take okay half an hour to 45 minutes okay yeah the synergids the filiform apparatus irukku this filiform apparatus is the one which is going to guide my pollen tube okay enoda pollen tube vandu nera enoda micropylar end mooliyama da enoda Uh, embryo sac kulla varum so that's very very important pasangala so idhula eppadi patta or question ketrundanga na out of the in embryo sac which cell is diploid in the cell vandu diploid nu ketrundanga your central cell is diploid okay purinjara pasangala is this clear is this clear everyone okay so mottathukku ethana cell antipodals moonu central cell one egg cell one synergids rendu so totally it is a seven cell eight nucleate stage all of you please do put it in the chat section because this itself can be an mcq okay madhumita wait wait i'll do that appo na ungal kandipa explain pandra konjo patience oda irunga i'll definitely explain okay it is a ovule that develops into seed ovary develops into fruit okay yes i will first finish the class seven cell and eight nucleate stage that is what we call it as your embryo sac okay clear we will continue now idu vandha nama monosporic development nu solrom oru oru word romba romba mukkiyam embryo sac formation from a single functional megaspore oru megaspore la nindhu entire embryo develop aagudhu embryo sac develop aagudhu adanalai idha monosporic development indro polygonum type why do we call it as polygonum type ina illa multiple cells irukku right the embryo sac develops from the chelazel megaspore its nucleus divides thrice to form a eight nucleate stage okay seven cell eight nucleate stage okay megaspore undergoes three successive mitotic division to form seven cell eight nucleate embryo sac okay parthenocarpy is the development of fruit without fertilization okay yeah pollination kondutom pasangala okay i will clear all your doubts all your doubts embryo sac embryo sac is the other name for uh, your uh, female gametophyte okay so what is pollination so lunga it is a transfer of pollen grain okay from the anther to the stigma that is what we call it as pollination okay romba simple ana vishayam it is a transfer of pollen grain yes double fertilization yes transfer of pollen grain okay pollination la moonu vidha irukku okay ஆட்டோகாமி 
okay so what is auto what is geteno what is zeno romba romba mukkiyam okay how to identify haploid or diploid very good question this question i will get okay haploid na or a nucleus inga ellame or or nucleus iruka so this is haploid okay inga rendu nucleus iruka adanalai it is diploid okay inge or a nucleus iruka adanalai it is haploid okay inga vandu rendu nucleus iruka adanalai it is diploid is it clear vidya sagar is it clear okay okay thank you yes we will discuss about that okay autogamy geteno-gamy xeno-gamy what is autogamy what is geteno-gamy technically speaking pasakla autogamy and geteno-gamy are self-pollination okay cross-pollination is xeno-gamy what is self-pollination it is a transfer of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma of the same plant of a flower of the same flower or the flower belonging to the same plant okay yes anther everything is diploid yes absolutely correct anther diploid kadaya anther wall everything is diploid yes yes okay so idu dhaan pasangala or picture vacha nam explain pannirlam so modala let's talk about autogamy what is autogamy it is a transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma of the same flower same flower same plant auto autonomous cell okay then you have geteno-gamy geteno-gamy na enna it is a transfer of anther okay from the uh, to the stigma of a different flower but on the same plant idhukku vandu pollinating agent theva padum enoda self pollination ku enoda autogamy ku vandu pollinating agent theva padadhu but enoda geteno-gamy ki pollinating agent kandipa theva padum yes yes Geteno-gamy is a kind of, that's how you say it, that's genetically, that's a self-pollination, but evolutionarily, that's a cross-pollination. That is how we need to interpret it, okay? What is cross-pollination or xenogamy? It is a transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma of a different flower, different plant. Okay, so this is very important. Geteno-gamy is genetically one change in the world. Because that is also self-pollination. Okay, but evolutionarily, this geteno-gamy has led to xeno-gamy. Yes. Clear? This is the third vidam of pollination. Yes. Coming to all your doubts, clistogamous, cathmogamous. So, where is it? Viola, oxalis, and the marina plants. Okay, so there are two different kinds of flowers and these two flowers, both of them ensures self-pollination. Okay, in the flower, one is the cathmogamous, in one is the clistogamous. Okay, so clistogamous flower, they do not open at all. They will be 100% self-pollination. Okay, so what they do, they are always, always closed. Okay. What is happening here? Yeah, Madhumita, I am coming to your doubts. I am coming to your doubt only now. Okay. Plants such as Viola, Oxalis and Comalina produce two types of flowers. Modern one is Casmogamous. In the Casmogamous one is which are similar to flowers of the other species. They are open. Okay. So, which with exposed anthers and stigma. Whereas, your Clistogamous do not open at all. This is a very, very important question, Pasangla. Casmogamous, Clistogamous. Okay. Casmogamous in Rade, the flowers are open. Clistogamous in Rade, the flowers do not open. But both of them lead to self-pollination. Rendu me self-pollination ki lead panade. Adi yepdi in Rade, na ongal ke explain panade. Okay. Yes. We will continue. Open flowers only after the completion of pollination is known as casmogamy. Yavlo smart arithu parmi in the casmogamous flower. Okay, self-pollination nadandu mudun jonne, it will open. Okay, that's the only thing here. Rombo rombo mukhya maana vishyom. Okay, this promotes self-pollination and is found in crops like wheat, barley, rice and oats. Okay, once the self-pollination is done, the bud will open. Okay, casmogamous flower has exposed anthers and stigma similar to the flowers of other species. Is it clear now? Madhumita, is it clear? 
what is inbreeding depression i'll explain just wait okay ipo adhe cleistogamy paakalam it is an automatic self pollination in the plant romba ve smart it will not at all open okay certain plants that propagate by using non opening self pollinating flowers so in the cleistogamy nam epdi naavu vechikalama non opening self pollinating flowers okay adhe enoda cactogamy epdi naavu vechikalama open open flowers nu vechikalam okay open flowers which open when after pollination okay after pollination they are going to open i hope now it is clear okay adha da pathanga cleistogamy ku cactogamy kana difference okay now we will move on to pollinating agent idla perusa oru vishayam illa the wind pollination water pollination romba mukyam okay then how are these biotic agents happening okay so you have abiotic agents abiotic agent la enna pa irukke wind pollination and water okay what are abiotic non living things that help in pollination wind pollination is called anemophily water pollination is called hydrophily okay wait pannunga wait pannunga ore or nimisham hi hi okay biotic la you have birds insects reptiles and mammals which help in pollination okay yes so in breeding depression na self pollination aayite irundichu nu vechukonga the plant will lose its character or pudhu character e varadu okay palasu paadi palasave irukum and the plant okay there will be no evolution there will be no variation as a result the plant's quality will decrease adha da in breeding depression okay cryo preservation cryo preservation is a method of storing any living tissue in liquid nitrogen okay liquid nitrogen minus 196 degree celsius la nam store pandra technique da cryo preservation okay yes so you have anemophily hydrophily entomophily and ornithophily so nam mukkiyama paaka poradhu indha rendu vishayam da anemophily and hydrophily okay ma'am do lily undergo biotic or abiotic pollination i think water lily it is uh, biotic water okay yes now we will see wind pollination pasangala in the features and the romba romba mukyam okay so pollination by wind is more common more common amongst abiotic pollinator pollen pollen grain should be light and non sticky ipo solunga pasangala light na puriyudhu non sticky a irukanum okay sticky a irundhuchuna when it is carried by wind okay it can go stick somewhere else so pollen grains are naturally very very small when compared to your female gamet okay so they should be light and non sticky possess well exposed stamens and large often feathery stigma why they should have feathery stigma because they should trap the pollen grains correct ah inoda wind la iruka pollen grains avanga vandu trap pananum adunala da they have feathery stigma okay wind pollinated flower often have a single ovule in each ovary a familiar example is corn corn cob nama sweet corn sweet corn irukla pasangala that is also an example for wind pollinated flower tell me what's your doubt okay wind pollination is quite common in grass monocots monocots are and avanga romba romba common ana oru vishayam yes water pollination you have your hypohydrophily and epihydrophily water pollination enna solrom hydrophily nu solrom pollination that takes place with the help of water below the surface hypo na ulle correct of water is in hydrophytes hydrophytes na enna in plants which are present in water are called hydrophytes okay here they bear a submerged female flower the female flower is submerged okay and the male flower is exposed okay people function ella padichaachi okay fine great great okay epihydrophily pollination takes place on the surface of water example balisneria ivula naavu vechukonga pothu okay so enna nadakona the water currents will carry the pollen grains pasangala okay there are so many other hydrophytes which undergo other kind of pollination ipo nama if you if you talk about hydrophytes it doesn't mean that they are always water pollinated they also undergo other kinds of pollination yes okay entomophily entomophily 
polymorphily is very interesting. We have been studying that, right? So, pollination with the help of insects is called entomophily. You have bees, butterfly, flies, beetle, bat, ant and moth. So, this is a symbiotic relationship, correct? What is symbiotic? Anybody? The plant gets benefited by the insect. The insect get benefited by the plant. Correct. Insect can get the food, get the nectar. So, what is how is the plant benefited? The plant gets benefited by getting its pollination done. Right? Yes. Mutualism. Very good. Very good. Okay. Insect pollinated flowers are large, colorful, fragrant, and rich in nectar. So, nectar and radu are floral reward. Okay. In the plant and the insect reward the nectar. Okay. The pollen of the insect gets a coating of pollen grain. When they come in contact with the stigma, it brings about pollination. Okay. So, outbreeding device. So, outbreeding device at Mozilla, I will talk about inbreeding. Okay. So, inbreeding na enna pasangla. Self pollination is called inbreeding. Okay. What happens? Someone was talking about it. Continue Self-pollination can cause inbreeding, okay, depression, okay, inbreeding depression, na enna pasangla, no new character, okay, no new character, alloda quality and the crop, if it's a crop, the crop's quality will decrease, okay, that is what we call it as inbreeding depression. These plants, remember pasangla, these, I will go slowly, okay, okay. Yes. So, these plants, they have their natural methods. You uh, uh, smartness. I see it that way. Okay. These plants have their natural mechanism to avoid self-pollination. That is what we call outbreeding device. I am not involved here. Naturally, they are able to do cross-pollination and that is what we call it as outbreeding device. Okay, so more than that, we have dichogamy. The pain now we chiktalu parawala. Please remember these points. Okay, outbreeding devices. How do plants bring about cross pollination? Outbreeding na na cross pollination. Okay, pollen release and stigma receptivity are not synchronized. Okay, so in the stigma and the receptive agano pasangla. Only then if the pollen falls. On the receptive stigma only there will be pollen tube formation. Okay. So if a pollen or what release I stigma or what receptive achina kandipa self-pollination nadakade. So that is a kind of outbreeding device. Okay. Next you have heterostyle stigma are placed at different position. So in the antero stigma, where where kuncha position Okay. So that there will be no self-pollination. Self-pollination will be completely avoided because of this. Okay. The next one is self-incompatibility. This is something very, very interesting. Even though the pollen falls on the stigma pasangla, there will be no pollen tube formation. That is what we call it as incompatible. There will be no fertilization. Okay. This is a way to prevent self-pollination and ensure cross-pollination. Okay. Next, unisexuality. Either is very easy. Production of unisexual flowers. Okay. It prevents autogamy but not jitinogamy. Okay. Unisexual flowers. Male flower, female flower. Tani taniya. Okay. Then, herpogamy. Male and female flowers are present on different plants. Male, male flowers ke ne taniyana plant. Female flowers ke ne taniyana plant. That is what we call it as herkogamy. Okay. So, it prevents both autogamy and jitinogamy. Very, very, very important. Okay. Illa, illa, idala 10th la illa. All the best, all the best. Okay. This is not for 10th, this is for 12th standard, class 12. Okay. Yes. Pollen pistil interaction. If you pollen grain, you will have a stigma. Okay. So, pollen grain is basically landing on the stigma. So, what happens now? The pollen will germinate. Pollen germination nadako. Pollen tube formation nadako. Adhu da ipa nama discuss panako. Pollen pistil interaction covers sequential e events from pollination until the pollen tube enter the ovule. Okay. After pollination, pollen grains germinate on the stigma. Eppidi and the germinate agona. They absorb moisture and sugar from the stigma and swell up. 
Okay, so this pollen grain they absorb sugar and moisture from who? From the stigma, and they will swell up. Okay, the in time the pollen grain grows out through the any of the germinal pore of the exine. Now, so leave that, ma'am. Exine or germ pore no nirko, and the germ pore the spore of pollen in irka then so leave. Correct? Ah, in the form of tube like outgrowth called pollen tube. So slowly we have a formation of. Pollen tube. So pollen tube yar form pandra in time form pandra. Okay, is it clear? Yes. When pollen tube comes down to the stale, all the vegetative nucleus enter followed by the generative cell. So model yar vara in order vegetative cell lead pani thavarde. Okay, first I have my vegetative vegetative cell. Then I have my generative cell. Okay, the vegetative nucleus controls the growth of the pollen tube, and generative cell divides to form two non-motile male gametes. Rombo rombo mukhya. Oh, please understand this. So first, yar vara, yar lead panra vegetative cell. Adi kapro the generative cell is dividing into two gametes. Okay, so that is what is happening, Pasangala. So very simple. The pollen lands on the stigma. Okay, the pollen now grows inside, and as why it's growing inside because it's absorbing sugar and moisture. Okay, and there is a pollen tube that is formed through the pollen tube. You have the vegetative cell leading. So behind you have the generative cell coming. Now the generative cell also divides into two male gametes. Okay, yes. Now this is our Pasangala Nadak. You can see here. How there is a pollen tube development. Modala, you have your generative nucleus. The generative nucleus is developing into two male gametes. I, you can still see the exine is intact. You can say, ma'am, exine is pretty, ma'am, in the ago. No, me aga the because there is no such thing which can destroy my exine. Okay, that is still there. Hi, hi, everyone. I'll come back to your doubts now. What you finish, funny to your doubts. All me answer, pandra. Please wait. Okay. This is what is happening, Pasangla. In the filiform apparatus and solio structure, okay, you have the male gametes which enter through my micropylar end and you have my filiform apparatus which will guide my male gametes. Okay, so one male gamete reaches your egg nucleus. Okay, there it is going to fertilize. Another male gamete reaches your polar nuclei. That is what we call it as which point? Which point? Please tell me which point. I'll explain. Does pollen grain grow from germ pore? Pollen grain, a pollen tube. Pollen tube grows from germ pore. Okay. Ipo na ande ongal ke double fertilization clear a soli kurtan pa sangla. Okay. So you have double fertilization. Okay, so double fertilization line there are two male gametes. Okay, so you have one male gamete, fusing with the egg cell. Okay, another male gamete. Fuses with the central cell. Okay, can anyone tell me what is central cell? Is it haploid or diploid? In our central cell, when they diploid, in our male gamete, when they haploid. Okay, this is haploid, this is also haploid. So, this is going to form a zygote which is diploid in nature. And what is this going to form, Pasangla? It is going to form a primary, primary endosperm cell. Okay, and this primary endosperm cell is triploid. Two plus one is three. Yes, it is not passing along a double fertilization. Simple, rumba simple. Okay, it's exclusive to angiosperms. Okay, now this zygote will develop into embryo. Okay, and this will develop into endosperm. Clear? If this is clear, please do let me know. If this entire double fertilization in the flow chart, you will get full marks.
okay yes we will continue now will do artificial hybridization mendel pannarala mendel enna experiment pannare he conducted artificial hybridization experiment adha vandu rendu step avar mukkiyama pannare can any even tell me what are the two steps that mendel did yes one was emasculation and other one was bagging okay emasculation na enna bagging na enna okay syngamy is the fusion and the fertilization ki innor peru da syngamy okay emasculation na enna pasangala it is the removal of anther okay from the uh, flower which you are going to consider female okay from the female flower and then other bisexual flower adha and unisexual a akro by removing the anther okay then what is bagging bagging okay first bagging munadi i have dusting okay dusting na enna it is dusting pollen grains from the desired male flower from desired male flower okay so bag na enna and the dust panna i will just use a polythene bag like this okay why do i use this why do i use this is anther removed before maturation it doesn't matter it doesn't matter la like before or after maturation i am removing it that's it it's better before maturation because it adu vandu self pollination you know prevent pannu yes why why is it done solunga pasangala because to prevent to prevent pollen contamination okay idu yen pandrona pollen contamination ah prevent panna idu da mendel pannare okay this is what mendel did for many years and he postulated mendel's law of inheritance yes class 11 ko eduthitirken yes i am taking for class 11 Ma'am, please answer me. ABO blood group is not in NCRT from hereditary, but it is asked in PYQs. Uh, is it important? Are you talking about class ten or class twelve? Please do tell me quickly. I will answer you. This is the entire process. Okay. This is one anju mark. Can I tell you? Okay. Anther is removed in bud condition from a bisexual flower. Okay. Female flower is obtained. Emasculated flower is enclosed in a bag made up of a butter paper or plastic. mature and viable pollen grain are collected bag is opened and pollen grain are dusted bag is replaced immediately artificial pollination takes place okay class 10 ke uh, abo blood grouping kekala mcq kekala or mcq la 2 mark 5 marks la kekka maatanga okay this is what double fertilization is we already discussed okay we discussed double fertilization enna nadakkudhu you will have zygote formation and you will also have this primary endosperm cell which is formed okay yes ipo pre fertilization events gametogenesis mudichito microsporogenesis macrosporogenesis mudichito fertilization mudichito ipo nama paaka poradhu post fertilization event okay so inno uh, inno doubts irundha session mudila varaikum wait pannunga i will clear your doubts okay post fertilization event la enna nadakkudhu pasangala endosperm form agudhu endosperm na enna what is endosperm what is stigma okay stigma is a receptor illa ungaloda gynecium stigma is where your pollen basically lands adha da stigma okay yes solita solita rahul okay then you have embryo formation seed formation fruit formation idellame da post fertilization event okay we will now continue one one paakala idu romba romba mukkiyamaana vishayam pasangala unga calyx corolla style stigma and rhesium they all wither wither na enna kile vilundiruvaanga they are not involved in the formation of embryo okay ovary develops into fruit okay it's very very important ovary wall irukla that will develop into pericarp pericarp na the outermost layer of the fruit okay ovule develops into seed integuments develop into seed coat okay 
inner integuments develop into tegment. I think all of you know seed coat has two layer, the outer testa and the inner tegment. Okay, micropyle still remains micropyle. Punicle becomes the stalk of the seed. Nucellus becomes perisperm. It is very important in plants like pepper. Okay, the nucellus is persistent. It will become perisperm. The egg cell becomes the zygote. It is all you know. Cytogens disintegrate and disappear. Okay, very important issue. Yes, ma'am, please tell ma'am Shiman sir. Even I am not very sure. They will definitely schedule. Inne kila naale kiyo will schedule. Kandi pa kade kiyo. Don't worry, sir will definitely take class. Okay, pepper, beet, very good, very good. Yes, endosperm development. Rumbo mukhya mana vishu. Endosperm development. Pristine embryo development. Abdi na enna pasangla. Enna da embryo develop power ek munnaadi. Modala kuncha endosperm development agum. Okay, so the primary endosperm cell divides repeatedly and forms a Triploid endosperm tissue. Irkala primary endosperm cell. This will divide to form triploid endosperm tissue. Cell when they divide agi agi or a tissue agu. Okay. The uh, primary endosperm undergoes successive nuclear division to give free nuclei. Ellar me LNA kuduchar po. Correct. And the LNA irla ye rend vidamana endosperm irkala pasangla. One when they free. Nuclear endosperm. In one one day, cellular endosperm. This could be an application based question. Okay. Rumbo rumbo mukhya mana question. Free nuclear na enna. Cellular endosperm na enna. Okay. Free nuclear na enna pasangla. In order coconut water irkala. Tender coconut water. Elanir irkala. Elanir da free nuclear. Okay, that's why the cell wall formation is the nucleus divide it. Okay, whereas and the white kernel is the white color, that is an example for cellular endosperm. Okay, so coconut water, coconut water is an example for free nuclear. Okay, kernel, the white kernel is an example for cellular endosperm. That is why coconut water la avlo nutrients irukhe. Okay, it has so much of electrolytes that is going to make you feel so better health wise. Okay, yes, tell me what is your doubt. So long pasangla. I will finish. Thank you, thank you for your care. Inno konchanda arke na mudichirva. Okay, yes. So idhera endosperm may either be completely consumed by the developing embryo. Okay, example P, groundnut beans before maturation or it may be persistent in the mature seed and be used up during seed germination. Okay, and sometimes they can be persistent. Okay, render with the seeds, albuminous and non albuminous. Okay, very, very important. Rombo mukhe manoj. So, zygote will develop into pro embryo, pro embryo will become globular, globular will become heart shape. Heart shape will become mature embryo. Endosperm development type she. Ipanama, we are moving on to embryo development. Okay. Is it not easy? Or flow chart. Okay. Zygote develops into globular, globular into heart shape, heart shape into mature. So the mature embryo la rent region will give one of the plumule in the tender, tender means tender coconut. Elanir, Elanir and then our English will tender coconut in solo. Okay. Yes. So radical will develop into root. Plumule will develop into shoot. Okay. Yes. So is the entire process of embryo development pasangla. Render with the embryo. One one the dicot embryo. In one the monocot embryo. Dicot embryo na, there is a cotyledon axis or axis mariko that is going to divide the cotyledon into two. They have two cotyledons. Okay. Example beans. Okay, so rend cotyledon irko, they are going to have a hypocotyl and a epicotyl. Hypocotyl na something that is below the axis, epicotyl na that is something above the axis. Okay, try to understand this. This diagram is an important question. Okay, now radical, as I already told you, it will develop into root. Okay, plumule will develop into shoot. Okay, and this radical is covered by root cap, which is going to protect my embryo. 
Yes. Ma'am, diagrams easier drop and Kandipa diagrams kind of session already poter ke. We will definitely take one more session. Okay. Ma'am, uh, why the process like endosperm form? Okay, very good question. Yeah, and the endosperm and the model of form are the embryo kumunadi. Yeah, na, you know, embryo develop agra. The kunja nutrients there. Right? So, the nutrients are put up, you know, endosperm da put up. Okay, that is why endosperm development precedes embryo development. Is it clear? Devadarshini? Okay. Now, monocot embryo. This is rombo mukhyam pasangla. Dicot or monocot embryo rombo rombo important. Okay. So, let's take an example of corn. Okay. You know, corn and the sapripping, obviously, a lot of sapripping. Okay. And the nadu is the white portion. Okay. That white portion is your embryo. And our yellow portion that is your endosome. Okay, that is very very important to understand. Again, where did it go? Yeah. Now, Punjana, please wait with me. Okay. Here, the cotyledon of a monocot embryo is called scutellum. That is called the warrior cotyledon. That is And the cotyledon, we are going to scutellum. Okay. And I have my shoot apex, which is covered by Coleoptile. In the coleoptile on the shoot region, okay, in the root region, coleoriza. Coleoptile develops into shoot, okay, coleoriza develops into root. Okay, Purunjada, Purunjada, just 5 minutes. I'll, I will cover, okay. This is the monocot embryo structure. Okay, yes. So, ovule, seeds development, ovule will develop into seeds, rend with the seeds. Arke. Albuminous and non-albuminous. Albuminous line, they retain some amount of endosperm. Example, wheat, maize, barley, castor. Non-albuminous line, they do not retain the endosperm. Example, pea and groundnut. Important. Difference between albuminous and non-albuminous. Okay? Yes. This is the entire thing about seeds. I have already discussed. Mature seeds may be non-albuminous or ex-albuminous. Non-albuminous have no residual endosperm as it is completely consumed during the embryo development. Albuminous seed retain a part of your endosperm. Okay, example, wheat, maize, barley and castor. This perisperm is also important. It is a short answer. So, two or three marks. This is Kandipa Kekla with example. Non-albuminous, albuminous, perisperm. Okay. Dormancy is when a seed and our seed when the germinate aga favorable conditions kadakati, the seed will go into an inactive stage. That is what we call it a dormancy. Okay. Yes, correct. Someone answered it for me. Thank you so much. Ipanama fruits pakla. Ma'am, please once again call you up tile and call you. Sure, sure. Okay. Call you tile is a modified plumule. Okay, the plumule and the plumule is in the layer. That is the coleoptile. This coleoptile develops into shoot. Okay, then you have in the root layer, coleoriza. Coleoriza is protecting my root. It is going to develop into my root system. Okay, is it clear? Someone asked. Okay, Vidya Sagar, is it clear? Okay, now we will fruit sapati Develop. From the ovary, rent with the fruit, true fruit and false fruit. False fruit, they develop from thalamus. Okay, true fruit, they develop from ovaries. Okay, very, very important. Ploidy key tabulation in, in the ploidy key, polyploidy soldering. Okay, I will explain. This is the seed. Seed is the outermost on the seed coat. Seed coat is embryo. That is the endosperm. Now, what is this fruit called? The fruit is a pericarp. That is the moon layer. Endocarp, mesocarp, exocarp. Best example is mango. Okay? And the toll is that is nothing but your endo. Uh, it is your exocarp. Okay? Then you have the fleshy region that is your mesocarp. There is a fibrous region. That is what we call it as endocarp. Okay, and the seed is subti or fibrous ana region in color. That is what we call it as endocarp. Okay, what is thalamus? Thalamus is the base of the uh, or a pedestal mari or a uh, stage mari structure on which my ovary is placed. Okay, that is what we call it as thalamus. Okay, it is false fruit. What are false fruit? In few species such as apple, strawberry and cashew nut, 
the thalamus also contributes to fruit formation. Okay, so here to come in the picture, you can see. Here, what you eat in apple is thalamus. Okay, the thalamus which is there. This is thalamus. Now, strawberry, you can eat something. Bro, that is thalamus. Okay, that is your false fruit. The fruits that develop from thalamus are called false fruit. Thalamus is the basal part or the stalk. The stalk of the flower on which the all the other parts are placed are called thalamus. Okay. Yes. Now, parthenocarpic, we already discussed the fruits which develop without fertilization. Okay. Yes, this is the reason. Without fertilization, they are formed. The chapter is done. The chapter is done. Okay. Yes. Or one and a half hour or five minutes. Okay, this is the You have this gametogenesis dormancy. Okay, Kandi Dormancy, na, you the seed. The seed is favorable on conditions. Temperature, enzyme, water, moisture. So, the seed becomes dormant. It becomes inactive. Inactive. So, it will not germinate. Okay. So, in the wheat, in the pulses, in the uh, in a chenna, adala ura pangala, or nalik munadi. Why they are actually uh, soak pandranga? Because that seed will actually absorb the water. It will swell and it will get ready for germination. Okay. Purunjada, it get ready for germination. Okay. Rumbo rumbo mukhi. The dormancy naraya idala arkala hormones. Abscessic acid, that's why you have plant growth and regulation. Okay, growth and development chapter. Okay. Ah, apomixis, na, apin actually tappa solitaire. Okay, apomixis is the development of fruits without seeds. Seeds form agada. Okay. Confusion is confusion. Yes, correct. Now, correct. Without seed. Yes. Development without seed is called apomixis. Development without fertilization is called parthenocarp. Yes, it's asexual. It's a kind of asexual. Yes. Purujula Pasangla. Yes, Kandipa. Kandipa Navande, our convey pandra and Kandipa classes. You do. You guys don't have to worry. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. We will consider. We will consider. Okay. Thank you, Pasangla. Thank you. If there is any other doubts in this chapter, actually, Konjo fast ala pona in Okay. In the apomixis, so parthenocarpio, I think it's not there in your syllabus. They are polyembryony. Parthenocarpio, polyembryony, apomixis, so my syllabus la illa. Okay. Polyembryony, unga. This uh, is the citrus, orange, seeds, embryos. That is what we call polyembryo. Okay? Seekram, Kudi Seekram. Exam of first, all of the video, we will surely start all the further classes portions. Okay? Yes. Thank you, Pasangla. Thank you so much. Uh, like, pananga, or comment. If you have understood something from the session, please do leave a comment. Okay? Um, uh, we will definitely do that chapter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, Pasangla. Bye, bye. Or comment, matra, Thank you.